Hi. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the falling away, the apostasy. Um, I just, a couple of days ago, I just had um, a reality check, a big time reality check, and I've got to tell you it's breaking my heart. It's just breaking my heart. Uh, the apostasy is a very wicked thing. It really is. Um, you're going to find that in, uh, 2 Thessalo Thessalonians 2 through 12. What I'm going to tell you is the apostasy are the ones that are saved. These are Christians. They have accepted Jesus. They know of Jesus. Um, a lot of them have received uh, their spiritual language, speaking in tongues. And at one point, they started out just loving the Lord, reading scripture. They just love the Lord. These are Christians. The apostasy are Christians, are believers that once believed. But they also, once they get saved, and um, a lot of them receive their godly language, what happens is they, got, they get caught up in the world. And uh, real life situations begin to happen to them where they are relying more on their ability to go to work and provide financially for themselves. They start believing that, well, we already got saved, we already have Jesus, we already accepted him, uh, so we're good to go, we're good to go, you know. We've, we've already done our part, we're done, we're good to go, we are in the grace of God, we are going to heaven, we're going to be raptured out of here, we're going to make it, we're in, we're in, we have our ticket to heaven, right? This is the great apostasy, and it's happening right now, right before our very eyes, it's happening in our family members. Well, it just, I got a reality check just yesterday. Uh... A nephew of mine that I love dearly and his wife as well and um, apparently they're they're getting really caught up in life and financial problems and they have resort they went back into the world they just maybe they never left they probably never left uh, even though they were saved and uh, you know one of them has received their godly language they really went back into the world full speed ahead and um, it's it's it, it's very sad to see very heartbreaking um, they have decided to do things on their own even though they still so they say they still trust the Lord, they still love the Lord, but they've decided that they're going to take care of their financial um, problems and they're going to handle it on their own. And um, that's what they're doing. That's what They're making money by, you know, recording hip-hop music. Um, they went completely in the opposite direction than what they were uh, doing. And they, since honestly, they sincerely believe that the Lord is still walking with them, or they're still walking with the Lord. And that's not what's happening. They have become unholy, ungodly, rebellious, disrespectful, and the Word of God, actually, they find it offensive because they feel that 
They already know the word of God. They already know it. They feel that they're walking with the Lord. But they're so far away from him. Their actions, their lifestyles. They've gone back into the world, dressing like the world, uh, talking like the world, thinking like the world. But they still think because they got saved at one time and they received the prayer language. The prayer language is those gifts from God will stay with you forever. You will not lose your gifts. But if your heart is not right with God, you have lost your salvation. You have walked away from Lord. And they honestly think that they're with the Lord. They're not. I am here to tell you that it's the apostasy is heartbreaking. It's wicked because it's the believers that are willingly going back into the world and thinking that they can go back into the world and they're okay. They're okay that God's going to bring them back, that, that uh, you know, they're, they can do that. I am here to tell you that that's not so. The great apostasy spoken in Thess Thessalos, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a hard time with this word, to Thessalos, Thess Thessalonians 2, uh, 2 through 12. That's not what it says. It says that they're going to be damned. And it also says that God is going to bring the, the lie, the delusion, to make them believe that lie. And the lie is that they're thinking, oh, I'm going to go back into the world for a little while just to get things done, and then I'm going to come back. But you see, that's the apostasy. And the Lord is going to make them believe that, and they're not going to come back. They're actually going to be damned, and God is going to make them believe that they're actually doing a good thing, that they walked, they willingly walked away from the Lord. So please go read this. I already have a video out on that. Uh, it's very heartbreaking to see it in real life in your own family. It's, it's something when you see it far apart, far away, or you hear of it. But when it's happening to your family members and you know that at one time they had this love for God and Jesus and they think they still have him but they willingly gave it up temporarily and go back into the world but that's not what it's going to happen because the apostasy when that happens immediately what happens is the man of perdition is revealed and God is going to given the delusion to believe it, to believe the lie, that they're still walking with the Lord, and they're not. They're, they're just not. So the apostasy is actually very, very wicked. Um, it's on, uh, it sounds to me like a point, point of no return. They're going to be damned, and it's very heartbreaking. Um, I'm praying for them that they're going to come back, but they've said that they need to be out in the world and they need to make money. They need to make money, and uh, their music is going to pay their way to pay for their expenses, their living expenses. Unfortunately, as we all know, that that's not going to happen because, you know, the next step is uh, the revealing of the son of perdition and, you know, moving into the dollar that has no value. So I'll talk to you in my next video.